The Bias Tea. What is it and what is it used for? By Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 metres, and PMR 446. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform. This is actually take two. Take one and I wasn't happy with. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Bias Tea and what it does and what it's for. So I have su such a device but I also have this. This is a satellite TV LNB, this is a one for the Sky Television Service in the UK. Yeah, not, not the best thing in the world. But this one's got four outputs on it. So you can have uh, two recording boxes at the same time, although I think one of the outputs on that's a wee bit dodgy. So what's going on with that. Um, and what I've cobbled together is inside this tin actually. That connects to that LNB or any LNB. Use a standard F-type connector on the end of a piece of 75 ohm coaxial cable. That's just for the power. It's got Anderson power poles on it so I can plug it into anything and be re reassured that I'm not going to connect the polarity backwards because that will be bad. And inside here, if I can get the lid off, is the circuit itself. And all it consists of is an inductor and a capacitor. That's all there is. Capacitors block DC but allow AC through. Inductors do the complete opposite. Basically, the inductor blocks the AC but allows the DC through. Now, I've done one of my rather horrible crude drawings in the first one, so that's already done. So that's basically the, the rough circuit diagram. That's supposed to be the symbol for an inductor, but I've not done it very well. So, you'd need it for powering anything using the same coaxial cable as you'd use to send the RF. So, the idea is that it can be used, it can be used for masthead amplifiers, LNBs, uh, anything that requires power sending up the, up the coaxial cable. You can't just simply send the voltage and the power up the coaxial cable because what will eventually happen is the power will find its way back into the back of the radio, which you don't want, and the RF will find its way back into the power supply, which is also something you don't want. So, I wouldn't think that would work for, on transmit, so I wouldn't want to try it. Uh, but it works absolutely fine on receive, so all you do is connect it, connect it up to your piece of equipment and apply the appropriate voltage. Uh, satellite LMBs are rated uh, with two voltages for the different polarizations. So one polarization is set to work at 12 volts, I think that's the vertical off the top of my head, and horizontal I believe is 18 volts. I think that's how it works. And um, there's there's something else in there as well that you think you have to apply um, a, a sine wave or something to it. I can't remember how it works. It's been a while since I've read up on LMBs that switches them um, a the local oscillator over, but I want to use the default local oscillator in that, so I don't need to to do anything else there, and obviously I've got to change everything down. And the receiver I plan to use is my Nuelec NESDR Smart, which is a very reasonable quality derivative of the RTL SDR. A little bit more expensive, but it works, and I have tested the LMB using it, and the LMB seems to be working fine, but obviously it's not going to receive anything because it's not fitted to a satellite dish. So, there we go. So, you can make um, uh, the Bias T at home, using bits out of your junk box. You don't have to um, uh, spend an absolute fortune, you could wire it like what I've done, or you could do it dead bug style, which would probably be preferable in this instance, but I'm not sure how well that would work. And 
you can then if you if you're using if you want to use QO100 to and receive on it then there you go but I wouldn't recommend the Sky LMBs for that because I've been told and I have read that they're not brilliant for use on the QO100 you can you can just buy another LMB that will do the job much better um, so yeah because I'm only interested in the um, uh, the narrow band transponder where all the um, uh, SSB and data modes take place I've also got nothing to transmit on that at the moment but that's something that's going to come later I think when I do a bit more exploring and if I can't get that to work successfully then it doesn't matter because if I have the, the thing attached to a dish then it'll make a good camping satellite dish um, not sure why I'd need to take a satellite dish camping but okay <laughs> that'd be good to watch a bit of TV whilst camping okay so I think there's nothing really much more to cover on it. The parts I used are an off cut of a coax cable from the, the, that was attached to that LNB because I actually found it scrap. So I thought, hmm, yeah, it's been scrapped, so I'll, I'll think I've got a use for it. So I salvaged it and tested it, and it still worked. And a piece of scrap Vero board, but you don't necessarily need to do that. The terminal block to connect the wires inside, because um, I've got thinner, slightly thinner wires inside. The current's quite low, so that's okay. Um, a black uh, piece of stiff metal wire, short as I possibly could get it, to connect to the connect to this uh, BNC chassis socket, which I removed from my slightly modified Intec DRS 5070 PMR 446 base station. Because I think I've blown the finals in that and uh, I need to try and repair that as soon as I can. Um, yeah, the, the inductor was wound from a piece of scrap copper wire I had lying around. And it, and it works just fine. And that's all there is to it really. And the uh, metal Sugru tin was the tin I had lying around. I've got another one of these lying around somewhere actually. And I've got an Altoids tin somewhere as well. So, no shortage of metal tins to make that into, but it has to be inside a metal tin because that acts as screening and therefore it won't pick up any noise. So if you run that in the open air, in an un in unscreened, it's going to pick up absolutely everything and yeah, it's not going to work very well. So, you don't want that. So, so the parts aren't that expensive. If you don't have those BNC chassis sockets, you can get hold of them. Um, I'd advise BNC because uh, at about the because the LMB would probably be outputting at around seven hundred megahertz off the top of my head, um, somewhere in that region anyway. I can't remember what the exact frequency is because it's been a while since I've looked at it. Um, the BNC connector would be a damn sight better than the SO239. And what I plan to do to connect that to the SDR, um, it'll be connected using uh, BNC to SMA connections. I'm not sure if I've got the right adapter for it but if I can connect it direct then I don't have to um, uh, worry too much about losses in the coax. But that's for a different video. You can buy um, uh, bias T's online, but you've got to make, but if you want to use it with a satellite LMB, you've got to make sure it's one that can deliver either 12 or 18 volts. So, there is a reason for that, which I'm not going to explain in this video, unless I've already explained it, which I could have done. But I might not have done. So, and you just need this, the, the satellite grade coax cable and an F connector to, or you could just have that connect, connect straight into the to the to the to the, to the LMB if you can find an an inline um, uh, F plug. But I don't think they make those. Because uh, they make the, they make the sockets, but 
chassis sockets, but I don't think they make chassis mount plugs. I've never seen them. Because the centre pin of the uh, F connectors tends to be the centre core of the coaxial cable. So, cheap to make. I had all the parts in stock already, so some total for me, me building that was zero. Uh, the connection to the power supply, I've chosen Anderson power poles just to make sure I connect it the right way round. Uh, if you if you make it, you can use those, or you can just uh, put some other type of connector on it. Whatever you've got lying around, really. I had Anderson power poles, which I got uh, last year's Blackpool Rally. Yeah, I'm going to miss going now this year. But it is actually officially cancelled now, which I knew it was going to be because we're all in lockdown. So, that's a good idea as a project for lockdown. And uh, buy a T to run your, run your satellite LMB if, that you've got lying around if you want to try and receive a QO100. Uh, so it'll be a different video on QO100. So, I think I should have covered it now. So this is Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 7V0, if you catch me on 11 metres and PMR 446. Um, again, guys, stay safe, enjoy your radio, like the channel, channel's content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, the more you guys um, uh, like and subscribe, the more motivated I am to make the videos. Even though my schedule is really hectic at the moment, but, you know, there's nothing I can do because uh, everyone's on lockdown and uh, I'm one of the few people out there that that is really allowed to go to work and go about my business uh, which is I work as a pizza delivery driver as you may know so and again I'm a, a well shout out to all of the heroes and all of this which includes right at the very top all the NHS staff and then yep yeah, got all the NHS staff they are doing a brilliant job, and then you've got all the supermarket workers. They're doing an absolutely sterling job as well, as I found out when I went into to Tesco yesterday. So they're doing a grand job, and you've got the delivery drivers, including us that deliver fast fast food in the in this case, pizza, because um, it's probably the only fast food you can get at the moment. Well, pizzas and this is all the little local pizza shops, but I don't really work for a local pizza shop, do I? I work for a slightly bigger one. Um, yeah, so shout out to all, all those guys and our law enforcement agencies for making sure people are actually listening, which the vast majority are, I'm pleased to say. So, so, so it's 7-3 for now and enjoy your radio, subscribe, like, you know, you know the drill and make some projects whilst you're in this lockdown or go on the radio, whatever you want to do, or bit of both. And I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, you can make YouTube videos as well, I don't mind. We need more amateur radio YouTubers out there. So, 7-3 for now. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.